Welcome back to Medrash Umaisa, sharing a story for this week's Parsha, Parsha's Kiseitze. There's a collection of first-hand stories from Talmidim of the Chavetz Chaim called Meir Eni Yisrael. In there, Rosh Shlomo Bloch, a close Talmud, tells us what he heard from the Chavetz Chaim about the Chavetz Chaim's first marriage, the Shidduch that led to his first marriage. The Chavetz Chaim was 16 years old. He was learning in Vilna with a group of Iluim, a very talented young Lamdonim, and his mother had remarried. His father passed away. His father had been a Talmud of Chaim Ivolozhin, a Talmud Chacham. His mother married someone very different in her second marriage. He was a very simple Jew in terms of his learning. He was very poor financially. And when the Chavetz Chaim visited, the father-in-law was very interested in him. I, I'm sorry, the uh, stepfather was very interested in him because he had a 26-year-old daughter. And he told the Chavetz Chaim's mother, I've decided that I want your son, who was then 16, to be my son-in-law. And he even told her that if she didn't manage to make this happen, he would divorce her. The Chavetz Chaim's mother came to him in tears. And the Chavetz Chaim, who knew that the girl had sterling character and had Yerash Shemaim, he said, I agree, I'll marry her. When this became known that they were engaged Different family members were aghast and tried to fight against it. And the Chavetz Chaim's Chavrusa, when he went back to Vilna, told him that he made a very bad decision. He appealed to the Chavetz Chaim about the future of his learning. He says, becoming engaged to someone this poor, the boys in our group are desired by very wealthy men who want their daughter to marry a Tamil Chacham that will support them for years so that their head can be clear to learn without any worries of Parnassah. How can you marry someone who's so poor when you have such potential to become a Tamil Chacham? The Chavetz Chaim told, uh, he told uh, Rav David Leibovitch, who was a family member of his, Rav David Leibovitch, the first Rosh Hashiva of Chavetz Chaim, previously in Torah Vedas, shared this. He said, I agreed, eventually I gave in, and I thought my Chavrusa was what right. And I headed to the train station to take a train to Radin to try and ask the young woman to please forgive me, but I wanted to break off the engagement. On my way, I saw a group of people gathered around in some kind of consternation in the street. I went over to see what happened. There was a man who had fallen in the street. It seems he suffered from epilepsy, and he had an attack, and he fell in the street into the mud. And he had just picked himself up, and he was covered with mud, and people all around were looking at him with such pity. And the man looked so embarrassed. The Chavetz Chaim said, how can I be the instrument to cause embarrassment to this young woman? That people will say that her engagement was broken because she's so poor. I won't do it. He says, I went on with the marriage. And Baruch Hashem, because she came from such a poor family, and he pointed out, she was so poor that the night before the wedding, she and the Chavetz Chaim's mother were going through wheat kernels of a bag that they bought for cut price because rodents had been nibbling on the wheat in the bag, sorting out the grains that were still whole and healthy in order to cook up something that would be the smorgasbord meal and Viennese table for that wedding, some dish that was made out of those wheat grains. He said, because of that, I was able to keep learning far longer than my Chavrusa, he married a very wealthy girl whose father supported him for a few years and then told him that he expected him to go into business and become a big businessman. Whereas me and my wife, we lived our simple life and I was able to learn and write my svarim and we all benefit from that. Parshas Kiseitze speaks a lot about marriages, divorces, second marriages, but it also speaks in that first pasuk about a great battle. Kiseitze la melchama aleivecha which Mepharshim say refers not only to battle against physical enemies, but the battle against the Yitzhahara. The Chavetz Chaim had a very difficult battle when he was heading to that train station, but he won, and as a result, we're all winners. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos. Kol Tov.